The death of a Tennessee man is gaining renewed attention across the country. 37-year-old Sterling Higgins called 911 in March of 2019 for help, but it would be the last call he would ever make. News 3's Danny Valle is live in the studio for us tonight. Danny, what can you tell us? Well, Victoria, an amended complaint filed Friday added video from inside the Obion County Jail in Tennessee where Higgins was taken, but that video never made it to the grand jury last year. And the lawsuit claims Higgins was suffering from a mental disability and should have received medical treatment sooner. They wasn't familiar with him being in the state that he was in, so they should have knew that something was wrong. Sterling Higgins suffered multiple blunt forced injuries to the head, torso, and neck on March 25, 2019. But the autopsy said Higgins died of excited delirium from methamphetamine toxicity. Attorney David Cooper doesn't buy that explanation. The uh, cause of death was more in line with the uh, restraint, the unnecessary excessive restraint that was used on uh, Mr. Higgins there uh, while he was down on the floor for those those so many minutes. It's part of an amended complaint Friday in a civil lawsuit against the county, Union City, and four officers, which includes video from inside the Obion County Jail on the night Higgins was brought in. At this point, Mr. Higgins can't speak for himself, and so the video from that standpoint is just crucial. The video shows Higgins in handcuffs arriving at around 145. You can see an officer shoving Higgins before he grabbed her hair and pulled her leaving other jailers to get involved. Video appears to show one officer with his hands on Higgins' neck and another who stepped on Higgins during the takedown. While strapped to a chair for restraint, Higgins appears to be unconscious and was wheeled to a jail cell where he remained alone and limp for several minutes. Once the paramedics arrived, they immediately took him into the hallway, and this is shown on video as well, and began emergency CPR, but by then it looks like it was you know, too little too late. Higgins died more than an hour after his arrest. His brother Larry says Sterling's death is still fresh in his mind, more than a year later. I will never even see my, my brother again. His kids won't even see his, his their daddy again, you know. And that's something money came by. And we want to note that the video was edited to add context, and a trial date has not been set. Now, last fall, Obion County District Attorney General Tommy Thomas decided not to submit the video as evidence to the grand jury, and no criminal charges were sought. Now, he stands by that decision and is not included in this civil lawsuit. He declined an interview request with News 3, but he did issue a statement saying, quote, I am truly sorry that Mr. Higgins died. I am confident, however, that our finding of no criminal conduct is correct. Victoria? Danny, what does Sterling Higgins' family think about the protests across the country? Well, Victoria, there were, in fact, some protests in Union City just a couple of weeks ago in honor of Sterling Higgins. And I did speak to his brother Larry this morning, and he feels a camaraderie with the movement following George Floyd's death, having a family member die in a similar fashion. But simply put, Victoria, Larry wants to see justice done for his brother Sterling. Live in studio, Danny Valle, News 3.